Hey everybody, welcome to another OPW University. We've got some rough grit sandpaper. We're hand, we're hand sanding down around the collar that's on the tank, as well as going up around the inside and the outside of our tank sump base. And what that rough grit sandpaper is gonna do is it's gonna, it's gonna rough up that surface for us. It's gonna get some of, the, some of the veil and some of that resin heavy stuff off so that whenever we pour our IK5000, we're gonna have a really, really good bond to, to our fiberglass, making our tank sump and our tank one piece. So now that we've properly sanded both the tank and the tank sump base, um, we're gonna clean both of these off really, really well with acetone. And you can see they've already got a dry fit in here to make sure that everything is fitting together. They've got their level out. We're gonna be, we're gonna check to make sure that we can get this thing perfectly level. And then we're gonna start mixing our, RF, our RK5000. The RK5000 is, is one of the pieces that the contractors tend to like best because it's a very, very easy process where you dump one, then dump the other, stir for three minutes, and once, once you stir for that three minutes, then you just pour it in the channel. All right, so you can see here, our friends from Petro Solutions are now taping off that seam down around the sump. We've got it, we've got it sanded, we've got it cleaned, we've got it leveled. Uh, you can see here, they're making a good, a good seal underneath that where the, where the tank sump base will meet our tank. And they're taping that off. All that is just a little bit of extra protection so that whenever we pour this RK5000, that it doesn't leak. We don't want it to leak out the backside and kind of remove some of the volume of our epoxy that we're putting in there. So we want it all to stay right there in the channel. So the amount of set time of our RK5000 will change a bit depending on what the temperature is outside. Today we've got a beautiful day. It's around 75 degrees, which means our minimum setup time is right around three hours. So after that three hours, that'll be our minimum set where we can, where we can start to work, uh, where this is start to set up and it's not a liquid anymore. That will change. If you're doing this in the winter, it could take up to 14 to 20 hours if you're doing this in the cold. Yeah. Three minutes. Yep. That's it. We're good. And we're just gonna pour that RK5000 all the way around the channel. And this is what's gonna fill that void, fill that channel in between our tank sump collar and our tank. And for the 42 as well as the 48 inch tank sumps from OPW, they're gonna require one RK5000 kit to bond to that collar. And then depending on which size you have, whenever we go do our top hat later, the 42 inch requires one RK5000 kit be poured into the channel for the top hat to be set. And our 48 inch requires 1.5 RK5000 kits. So two will need to be purchased for, for the top hat on a 48 inch, but one RK5000 kit will work for both the 42 and for the 48 inch base. We wanna try and pour that as evenly as we can. It will kind of level itself. Uh, kind of, it'll, it'll run around to the lowest point, which is why we use that level. So we get uh, equal epoxy all the way around 360 degrees of our collar. And that looks fantastic. So now that our RK5000 have set on the base, uh, you can see here the Petro Solutions guys are going ahead and now they're sanding, now they're sanding up our top hat where it's gonna sit into our, into our fiberglass base channel. Um, we're gonna need to sand both the top hat where it sits inside the channel. We're also gonna sand inside the channel itself on the tank sump base. Uh, this is gonna make sure just like with our base, we get a nice rough edge. We get some of the, some of the resin rich coatings off the side so that when, whenever that RK5000 goes to bond that it's bonding very well to, to the fiberglass that we want it to bond to and it has a good long term bond. Now that we've finished sanding both the channel and the top hat, we're gonna bring that acetone with the rag back out. We're gonna make sure we get all of that dust, any of the, any of the dust that's blowing from the wind. We wanna get all that stuff cleaned off really well using that acetone with a rag so we have a really good, clean bonding surface. So we got our RK5000 mixed for our top hat, mixed it for three minutes, and now we're gonna pour this evenly around this channel. Now remember I had said 42 inch requires one RK5000 kit, and if you're using our 48 inch style electrotite, this would be one and a half kits of RK5000. So you'd have to mix up two and you wanna pour that channel um, so that we wanna get enough underneath it, we wanna get enough off both sides, and we wanna make sure that we're getting a good bond on all sides of this top hat. All right, now that we've got our RK5000 poured, we're gonna hike up our top hat here, and we're gonna to wanna to line up these lines 
as we set it down into the channel. All right. If there's any additional questions, you can reach out to the DM in your area. Additional questions can go to opwretailfueling.com. Keep your eyes peeled for more OPW University videos coming your way out here in the field. We're going to try and really bolster that this year. Uh, thanks for watching.